I moved to LA to go to UCLA. I dropped out after a year to go to acting school. My parents wouldn't support me, so I, I worked at McDonald's. <laughs> So I was in this position where it was like, all right, you went from UCLA to McDonald's to follow your dream. You better work hard at it. You better do everything you can to make it. And so I just threw myself into acting and just basically that was my whole life. You know, it was just acting, acting, acting and, and working at the drive through from nine until 2 a.m. And it paid off. You know, the hard work seemed to pay off. Within two years, I think I was on Freaks and Geeks. So when I started Directing, I did the same thing. Just directed a, a whole bunch of movies. After about seven or eight years of that, I, I realized that it was time to slow down, that there were diminishing returns, and that I would get surprise, surprise, better results if I um, just focused on one thing at a time. And so The Disaster Artist was one of those projects where I, I just gave it my full attention. And this past year, I, you know, I had The Disaster Artist and this show for HBO called The Deuce, and I directed it on that as well. And I realized that I did a lot of projects before this, and I was probably working on too many things, and they all maybe didn't turn out like I would have hoped, but it did give me the experience that I needed to be able to direct those episodes, and definitely not direct and play two parts in the show at the same time if I hadn't backlogged all that experience working on all those other projects and the same thing with the disaster artist i'm really proud of it and i think it's as good as it is partly because i did put so much time in on these other things and, and just you know made mistakes and learned along the way and so when i was ready to really give my all to something it paid off <laughs>